Welcome to the Aquashella Orlando 2022 Creators Challenge in the Awaza booth. This was a competition that had six creators and six aquascapers all competing the same size tank, the same materials. This is a six gallon that we are escaping in and we all had the same materials. In this case, it was spiderwood and dragonstone. So we each got to pick two pieces of spiderwood and three pieces of dragonstone. Now these pieces of spiderwood that I got, really, really cool. I just wish, now we're given, an, we're given one hour to escape and it seems like the time is gonna go by so fast, but there is actually enough time to play with different layouts. And I, I wish I would have tried different ones, but I really just wanted to get the ball rolling. Part of the trick is when you are escaping with driftwood, the driftwood will want to float. So you do need to make accommodations with the rock, either putting the rock on top of the driftwood or gluing the driftwood onto the rock. I did remove a little piece of spider wood because it was it was bugging me and I, I, I kind of wanted to focus on that one single piece of driftwood coming out of the tank. Typically what I will do is place the plants first in the case of the, the bacopa in the back. See if I like it there. Maybe I'll leave it there for a little bit. Move on to the next plant. In this case, the uh, Ludwigia Super Red, which is a really cool plant. That's a little bit of red in the tank. I was able to get with the plant selection, they give you about maybe eight to ten different plants to choose from and you can just take whatever is available at the time there on the table and I was able to score a couple pieces of Ludwigia. Uh, I do love Microsword lately. I'm pretty much using it in, uh, in all my scapes lately. I think it looks uh, really cool. It adds kind of a natural look almost like a biotope look for me. It just looks very natural, just growing out from under driftwood. This substrate is really, really cool. I'm going to be uh, seeing if I can get a bag of this so I can show it to you. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's actually called Black Diamond, but this is not the same Black Diamond blasting sand that you might be familiar with. It's totally different, and it's pretty much the coolest substrate. Um, if you've never seen it, it adds a whole lot of uh, different kind of dimension and texture to the substrate. it's time to attach the Anubias. The super glue it was provided. This is my absolute favorite super glue. I will uh, include a link down below, uh, an Amazon affiliate link if you do want to check it out. It is pricier than your average super glue brand, but it uh, sets way better and it doesn't leave any white residue. It also, the set that I have also comes with an accelerator. That's that spray bottle you see, and it helps to attach it really fast. 
I was really excited to use some S Reppins, which I love lately too. I put some in the front right and then also in the back left. add more micro sword in the front as well and the the plants that were provided are from Tropica and you really do get a whole lot of plants in either the tissue cultures or the pots I was really quite surprised at how much you get in each little uh, container have the spray bottle especially if you plan on uh, having plants out for any period of time which if you're doing an aquascape it may take you some time so always have a spray bottle handy I did add some uh, little accent gravel pieces uh, of, an, of a multicolored substrate just for some interest and then also a few more pieces of Anubias to kind of extend the line of the, uh, the, the Anubias planting in the middle kind of making a uh, kind of connecting the front and the back like one continuous drift so after some finishing touches there it is it's all done Hope you enjoyed seeing this scape come together. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one.